Even though it is important to preserve the age-old recipe, as a chef, it is also important to experiment and innovate. Hello guys, I'm Afraz and I'm here cooking some classic recipe just for you. And today on the list is the very traditional biryani, which I'm going to take it to another level and make it into a my version of biryani chicken roulade. So let's quickly start. First, I've kept water for boiling so that we can cook our rice. And then now let's start with our marination. So in a bowl, I'm going to add some yogurt. Next, I'm going to add some ginger garlic paste. So I'm using the same ingredients that goes into the marination of a chicken dum biryani. Next, I'm going to add some red chili powder. some turmeric powder, garam masala powder. Next, I'm going to add some salt. Next, I'm going to add some nutmeg powder and some elaichi powder, some lemon juice. And that's it, our marinade is ready. I'm going to mix this nicely. So once this is done, so our marination is done, over here I have some brown onion which is the essential ingredient of a biryani and now I'm going to grind it into a coarse mixture. So let's put this into a mixy jar. And then let's grind this. That's it, this is done. And this too will go into a lovely marinade. So directly I'm going to add this. The aroma from the fried onion is really amazing. Taste is nice and sweet. Again, I'm going to mix this. And finally, I'm going to add a little oil. So now the marination is ready. I'm going to set this aside. And here, the water has also come to a boil. Now to this, I'll add some whole spices, a few green cardamoms. As we want our rice to be nice and aromatic, one cinnamon stick. And with that, I'm also going to add some clove. Finally, I'm going to add the soaked basmati rice. So you need to soak the rice at least for 30 minutes. I'm going to add salt. Give this a mix. And I'm going to cook the rice till they are three four done. And next I'm going to start working on the chicken. So let's get the chicken. So here I have two chicken breasts. So I'm going to slit the chicken to make it into a butterfly shape. And now I'm going to open the clean wrap and cover my chopping board. I'm going to place the chicken, cover it with the clean wrap again. And now using a meat hammer, I'm going to flatten the chicken. So now the rice is properly 3 4 cooked. I'm going to shut the gas and drain it out. And then quickly I'm going to add a little kevra water and some rose water and few saffron strands which I've soaked in warm water. And now I'm going to transfer this into a bowl. And coming back to our chicken. Then I would marinate the chicken with a lovely marinade. So nice thick coat of the marinade. And now our rice is also ready. So I'm going to take a portion of rice without any whole spices. And I'm going to place the rice in the center as I'm going to stuff the chicken roulade with this aromatic rice. And now is the time to roll our chicken roulade. 
So first I'm going to fold the edges like this and then start rolling it from one side to another. So you need to tightly roll this and then I'm going to take an aluminium foil and lift this gently and place it over the foil and I'm going to roll the foil tightly and now I'm going to place this chicken on a baking tray and bake this in the oven at 150 degrees celsius for around 20 minutes so till the time the chicken is getting baked let's make a quick salad as an accompaniment for our chicken biryani roulade for that I'm going to heat up a pan so once the pan is nice and hot I'm going to roast some spices so in goes some whole coriander with that I'm going to add some cumin seeds and I'm going to add some sesame seeds So this is a particular accompaniment which is served in Hyderabad along with biryani. Now the spices are nicely aromatic and also the sesame seeds have nicely toasted. Next I'm going to add in some whole dried red chilies. And that's it, this is done. I'm going to transfer this into a mixy jar. And then with this, I'm going to add some peanuts, toasted peanuts, some chopped garlic, some chopped ginger, and then I'm going to add a little water. And I'm going to grind this into a fine paste. So once it is blended, into a smooth paste. I'm going to set this aside and quickly I'm going to heat up a pan and to the hot pan I'm going to add a little oil. So once the oil is hot I'm going to add some mustard seeds, few curry leaves and then I'm going to add some grated onion. I'm going to saute the onion till they go nice golden brown in color. So once the onion have turned nice golden brown in color, next I'm going to add in some turmeric. Give this a mix. And then I'm going to add the prepared paste. I'm going to saute the masala well. And then I will add water. I'm going to add salt and I'm going to cook this on low heat for around 8 to 10 minutes or until the oil is nicely separated. So till the time our sauce is getting cooked, I'm going to slice some green chilies. These are Bhavanagri green chilies which are thick and light green in color. So now the salad is almost cooked but I'm going to lower the flame and reduce it more and over here I'm going to heat up a small pan to which I'll add oil also the chicken is cooked and it is out from the oven so now when the oil is nice and hot I'm going to add this chilies and fry them so this is done I'm going to quickly take this out in a bowl our sauce is almost reduced Lastly, I'm going to add some tamarind pulp and then some jaggery. Give this a final mix. And I'm going to shut the flame. And our sauce is ready. And now let's open the chicken roulade. And now after opening the chicken, I'm going to sear it in a hot pan to which I'll add oil. So once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to place the chicken roulade and sear it from all the sides 
until it gets a nice golden color. So now this is done. I'm going to remove this onto the chopping board. And now is the time to cut it. So now all the elements are ready, it's time to plate. So quickly I'm going to take a big plate. So first I'm going to spread the sauce on one side. And then I would arrange the chicken roulade, the fried green chilies, some edible flowers. So there you go, a classic chicken biryani like never before. So if you like the recipe, do hit like and subscribe to our channel.